Oh, hello. <laughs> Few things bring Steve Kellen more joy than his dog, Connor. But his energetic pup may have also brought him something else, a tick bite. Kellen found it Saturday night as he was heading to bed. I uh, took my shirt off and felt uh, what I thought might be a new mole. And I went to look at it in the mirror because it was strange and it looked like a tick. It's right here. On the side of his torso was a tick burrowed in his skin. Using a so-called tick key, his wife helped him remove it. And there it was wiggling its little legs. I mean, I was so surprised. You know, I didn't think we had ticks in Vancouver. But experts say ticks can be found anywhere in southern BC, although it's unlikely you'd find the bloodsuckers in urban areas. Ticks live on long grasses and, and um, uh, trees and bushes, and so you're much more likely to see them in park or forested areas. It does mean dogs who go off trails are more susceptible to ticks. The one that bit Kellen may have been loosely attached to Connor's coat before brushing up against his owner. Spring is when tick bites tend to happen. That's when the small ticks come out and have their blood meal for the season. But bites can occur throughout the summer and into the fall months. The big fear with ticks is that they can transfer a bacteria that causes Lyme disease, an infection that can lead to complicated health problems. But the risk in BC is low. Only one in 200 ticks carry Lyme disease. So how do you know if something is wrong? For starters, your bite will likely swell up somewhere beyond five centimeters in size. And in that first week, you'll likely feel pretty sick. Fever, aches and pains, fatigue. That's when you know you should certainly go and see your doctor. The best way to prevent a bite is to steer clear of bushy forested areas. Choose clear paths and trails over the backcountry. If you do head out, wear long sleeves and long pants to cover any exposed skin. And if there is exposed skin, to use an insecticide containing DEET or Icardin. Once you get home, check your whole body for any ticks and then take a shower. And best to check your pets too before they come in for a snuggle. Leanne Young, CBC News, Vancouver.